New Friends has always been a dream of our company to attend. Um, we know that this is the Olympics of you know branded content, advertising agencies, marketing, just in general. And to be in New York City, of course, where it's the epicenter of all of those businesses colliding. Um, you know, being an LA-based company, this is like one of those dreams that you have. Um, you know, for a very long time, and you know, finally we were able to pull the trigger and be here on Wednesday, May 3rd, 2023, and make history as the first LGBTQ company to ever present at a new front since its inception 11 years ago. As a presenter, I really hope that attendees take away our overarching message, which is to spread queer joy. Um, you know, this was a labor of love creating, you know, this musical. Um, everything um, culminates kind of with all the new shows that we presented today, like King of Drag and Pride Ball, and returning shows that we have to the network, like our new show Culture Q, our award show Queer X Awards, and of course Drag Latina. Um, you know, it's important for us to stand proud, show the world, you know, with a little bit of creativity and a lot of love and um, a whole lot of passion that um, anyone can do what we're doing. Reverie has so much great, amazing premium content to offer. You know, outside of, you know, queer classic films like you saw today that we will be premiering on the network very soon, like Fame, my all-time personal favorite. Um, and again, very iconic and ironic that like we're standing right now in New York City, you know, here at Convene. Um, but amazing originals, you know, again, like Reverie is committed to uplifting queer joy and showing uh, you know, real creativity from an unscripted standpoint. And when you have shows like Drag Latina, the first ever Spanish language intersectional drag competition show, it was made for a queer Hispanic audience here in the United States. You know, our opening last year during Hispanic Heritage Month saw a million views, um, you know, and that's crazy for us to, you know, even describe in words because, you know, there is so much representation and intersectionality within the LGBTQ community. Um, that you know, it's important for us to be able to show that representation through our original content and really have brands engage in an authentic and creative and fun way. You know, that was kind of, I hope, uh, at least our big message for the presentation today that everyone can leave this saying that they had fun during Reverie's presentation. I think the big, big picture conversations that the industry needs to have as a whole is bigger investment in our community. You know, in the United States, we spend $1.7 trillion a year in disposable income. That's just the US. We are not a small market. We're actually a very big, loyal, powerful market. And, you know, by standing here today and, you know, just showing a few basic statistics on how there is a generational shift, especially with millennials and Gen Z being the queerest demographics on the planet, and that intersectionality being the heart of what they want to really see in terms of representation in media. Um, that is the biggest shift that we can hopefully, uh, people will take away from today's presentation. Um, you know, brands need to invest more in LGBTQ content and in platforms and networks like Reverie, because historically it's just not been enough. I'm hoping to take away from this event, um, you know, that people respond um, to what we've shown them here today, that there is, um, we can show true positivity, queer joy and love in everything that we create here at Reverie. And I am, you know, praying and hoping that the world starts to take watch and that um, folks really, if they were brands and agencies, thought, um, you know, that they, we couldn't do it or they were on the edge or weren't pulling the trigger yet, that today is a public, um, very loud and proud statement that it is possible and we can make a huge difference. The thing that Reverie can offer brands that no one else can really say, especially in our space, is the most intersectional and diverse and multi-certified, multicultural founding team on this planet. Reverie is not just owned by me, but it's equally owned by Christopher Rodriguez, an Hispanic gay man, Aliyah J. Daniels, a super ally, who is a black woman, LaShawn McGee, a black 
female, lesbian, army veteran. We started this company six and a half years ago, and we never faltered from our ownership and what that meant to leadership. And we are taking a stance so publicly, so proudly today to show that, you know what, you can have four co-founders, you can have women, you can have African-American, you have Hispanic, you can have non-binary folks like me. We can take charge, we can lead, and it doesn't have to be one type of leadership, one type of voice like we have seen historically in media today. This is the future of Hollywood, period, and we are leading that charge.